Welcome to Rayleigh Small Engines. We're working on a Poland Pro that Briggs Intech uh, 20 horsepower V twin, and it is smoking like crazy. There's oil dripping out the muffler, and it's going unda unda unda. Well, first thing you want to do is pull your dipstick out. And I doubt you can see it on camera, maybe you can. This thing is just way over full. Then what you do is smell the dipstick. What you're gonna smell is gas, and I'm gonna show you why. And it's not always the needle in the seat, folks. I'll show you in a second. Um, this is a Nikki style carb. Sorry, I had to stop short there a second. I had a phone call. I've already removed the screws here and I'm going to show you how to get this off as a unit. It's not very difficult. Um, pull this off your bowl, set it aside and I've already taken this apart. Sorry about the camera work folks. Um, and this will apply even to your single cylinder Briggs engines. that has got the Nikki style carburetor with this setup and we'll pull this off. Okay. What you're looking for here, obviously, is that the float is not bottoming out and it's seating good. But the problem with the leak on these is right here, where this meets the body of the carburetor, which is, let's see if I can get where you can see, right there. Now, if you can see how bad that O-ring looks right there, now, the, I haven't been able to find just the O-ring. Uh, you get it in a kit with this funky little gasket. So, I'll show you what the part number of that is. Let's go see if I've got one. Mm, parts, 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 parts. Look at here. There it is right there. A 698781 is the Briggs number on this. And as you can see, it comes with the gasket and the O-ring. Now, what I like to do, I'll put the O-ring on this piece and then in order for it, when you go to put this back on, and I'll put this gasket on this piece and then I'll hold it upright like this and turn the unit of the carburetor over top of it and slide it down on. What you want to do first, after you get the O-ring laid up, uh, push the O-ring on here what you do, I keep um, a little thing of Vaseline uh, on the carburetor bench, and I'll put a little Vaseline around there. The reason why is so that it'll slide back into this easily without cutting it, because what you don't want to do is cut the new one, then you shot yourself in the foot, okay? So, anyhow, just a little quick tip there, guys, on what'll cause these leaks. Now, I'll show you how easy it really is to get this carburetor off of here like this in one piece. There's a screen over top. There's four bolts up here. You'll take that off first, eight millimeters. I won't go bore you with doing all that. And then there are six screws around the edge, and you just have to loosen them. You don't even take them out. There'll be two screws holding this fuel pump to the plastic cover take those out first, then loosen all these, then you can slide your engine shroud off. In here, there's gonna be four bolts, okay, that hold the whole intake carburetor assembly on. First thing you'll do is disconnect your wire. This side, you'll pop the little release off, just pop, pop that linkage off and it can stay with the unit. And then take these four screws out they are T30 or 3 8 T30 Torx or 3 8 Once you pull those four off, take the unit and slide it around this direction and it will unhook right from your governor shaft. Then you can lay the whole thing on the bench, no messing with throttle cables or any of that. So stand by one more second. Folks, I hope this helps somebody out. Um, look for this O-ring. Um, it will leak, but we're going to also just clean the needle in the seat. I didn't want to bore you with the whole, whole deal. So just wanted to show you what causes leaks on these style carburetors. This applies to that Nikki carburetor. Well, guys, reach over there, click that subscribe button, 
please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it if you if give a thumbs down i want to know why so you tell us why but we appreciate each and every one of you thanks for tuning in Rayleigh small engines we'll see you next time